Hi, um, I'm just doing a quick video because uh, I decided to have a little look at uh, the new version of WSJTX. Um, this is a release candidate, so this isn't um, necessarily the version that will be uh, run out. But um, the main reason for having a look at it is because of um, FT4. So FT4 is just like FT8, but it's a lot quicker. So instead of an over uh, or a, a, an exchange taking 15 seconds, it takes six seconds. Particularly designed for contesting, but uh, there's no restriction, so we can use it in everyday use. So uh, anyway, this is how we uh, found it. Just type into Google WSJTX 2.1.0. Um, and that will bring you up these uh, these different links and the top one here is the one that we want so this will take us off to Joe Taylor's um, site for WSJTX and we can see the latest versions of the standard WSJTX here for download uh, but for this we want to go down to the bottom and we want to be looking here the installation packages for the release candidate number five and click on one of these two links now if you're already running WSJTX, um, it probably is a good idea not to install this over the top of the old version. As I say, this is kind of a pre-release candidate, and so uh, there could be issues. So I installed it into a completely different directory with a different link. So I know for a fact that uh, my standard setup, when it loads up um, the standard WSJTX, won't load this version. So there you go, you just click on that, you download it, and you just follow the instructions. So I'll just quit out of this um, this uh, browser, <coughs> excuse me, and you'll see what's behind it. Right, so I've already gone ahead and installed it. Uh, just talking you through what you can see here. So top left hand corner, this is uh, the Flex uh, using Power SDR. Below that we've got Log for OM. Uh, this is my uh, electronic login package. <coughs> It automatically interfaces with WSJTX using this little bit of software down here called JT Alert. And basically what that does is it takes uh, the QSO out of WSJTX and puts it straight into my login package, which automatically puts it straight up to the internet for Log of the World and um, QRZ.com and all places like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, um, a couple of things that I've noticed, initially when I first loaded it up, it pulled all of the settings in um, from my previous configuration, so you know it knew exactly my call sign and my locator and, and all of the other settings that I've set. The one thing that it didn't know um, was any frequencies for FT4, so literally I went on to here, <coughs> I'll just close that, I went on to here and tried to select the drop down for the different bands and there weren't any. After a little bit of playing around I realised that the reason why it wouldn't allow me to select any is because there was none set. So just for example purposes I've actually set manually the one for 40 meters and we do that simply by going into file settings and then across to frequencies and then what you'll actually see here is <coughs> excuse me I've actually typed in this one here manually so all we do is we right click and go insert and then we tell it the actual frequency that it, we want it to um, go to for that particular mode so I've told it FT4 and I've told it the frequency for FT4 being 7.047 and now when I click on the drop down you'll see that it only gives me one option because I've only got one option set for FT4 which is that one there and as you can see it's quite happily picking up um, it's picking up uh, calls for CQ so let's just answer one of these I haven't had any um, FT4 conversations so far I've just made sure that my antenna is tuned let's just do it again so I've just keyed up and we're looking here I've got an SWR of around about 1.6 so that's fine um, okay, let's just try answering one of these one of these CQ calls. There you go. I've just double clicked on it. The first thing that you'll notice is the speed. So it's taking six seconds to turn around. The yellow one at the top here is my response. I didn't need to synchronize my time clock because it automatically synchronizes um, every hour. Um, so I know that that's accurate. 
Okay, just waiting. I thought he would have um, replied back, so maybe he's not going to for whatever reason. Let's let's just halt this. Okay, let's halt that. Let's try somebody else. This one here in Sicily. Just having my morning cup of coffee. The time here when I'm filming this is 07.33. I've got to go for uh, for work shortly, but I just thought I would just do this um, before I go. Great, okay. So have a look at the speed that this takes. Ah, this is a, this is actually the original DL station. Ah, and the IT station has just come back to me. Okay. <clears throat> so as you'll see in standard um, operation, we've gone down there. The QSO has now been accepted, and there you go. My log is now automatically updated with that. Uh, Lichtenstein. That's a new. Um, that's a new DXCC for me. That's why it's lit up in purple. So let's just see, as a matter of interest, if we can have a, a QSO. Okay, there's a few stations trying to contact me now. There's the Liechtenstein one, which is great. There you go. Look how quick that is. You'll see down here. This is without me clicking any buttons. It automatically updates that. Perfect. Let's just try, uh, let's find a little frequency that nobody's on. Let's say there. And let's just call CQ. <clears throat> As you can see, that DL station has just come back to me. I, I should really have gone back to him. I thought he may have gone elsewhere, though. Okay, so I'm calling CQ now. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm actually... The package has automatically taken over, and it's now replying back to that DL station because it saw him come back to me. <laughs> so clearly he's gone off and done something else. Okay. Well, not to worry. Uh, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, so there you go, just a short video, um, enjoy, uh, enjoy your radio, bye for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe, until next time it's 7-3 from me.